Now let's talk about password hashing. Nowadays, almost all the projects have some login functionalities. So you have to store username and password of the user and the passwords need to be hashed before stored in database. If you store the original password in your database without any hashing, that's a major security issue. It doesn't matter if a business is small or big. There are so many websites out there that are not hashing their passwords. For example, the biggest one was Facebook. A few years ago, Facebook stored millions of users' passwords in plain text. So don't be like Facebook. Don't be like those who don't care about security of their users. It's a very important step. And in PHP, it's super easy. So let's see how we can do that in PHP. The first step would be obviously hashing the password. For example, let's say I have a user, the name is test at example.com and the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay. The very first step for the security of password is obviously hashing the password. It's super easy. The function name is password hash. The first argument is the password itself, password. The second argument is the algorithm. PHP supports many algorithms, but normally the default one is the best one. And I want to choose the default version here. I, all I have to do is to write the algorithm I want to use is password default. There are, if you want to specify an, an algorithm, you can do it here but I don't want to do that. And all I have to do is to pass password default as the argument. And the third argument is extra options. If you have one, I don't have any specific options. So I do not pass anything here. So this simple one line function can hash your passwords. Do not ignore it. It's super easy. I don't know why some people do not do that. All you have to do is to store it in a variable hashed password equals to this. Now this function is going to hash my password with this algorithm and then return a string. So let's see echo hashed password and let's run the code php index.php. Now it will give me something like this. This is a one-way hash, meaning that you cannot change the hashed password back to the original password. So how can we verify if user is passing the correct password? Then all we have to do is to use password verify. It's another very simple function in PHP, but it's very powerful and it's going to help us verify the password and it would return true if the password matches the hashed password. Uh, otherwise it would return false. So let's see. The first argument is the password itself. And the second argument is the hashed password. So let's see what it would return. War dump. this and php index.php file and it returns true but for example i pass the password itself but if i pass something like one two three four something that is not correct and i run this code it's false it's not correct so i can use this whole thing inside a conditional if password verify is correct then echo password is correct otherwise Tell me that your password isn't correct. Okay. Now, if I run this, I would get your password isn't correct. Let me remove this echo and run this again. Your password isn't correct, but if I pass the original password, I'll get password is correct. You might ask, okay, if each password is going to generate uh, one specific hash, it would be obviously easy to change that hash back to the original. Well, it isn't the algorithm that we use here is generating a different hash every time. So no two hashes are exactly the same. For example, if let me bring this part back again and run this code many times. As you can see, none of them are the same, but all of them are hashes of the same password. 
so it wouldn't be possible for us to hash the password again and then check if it's equal to the password that is stored in the database so we have to use password verify and as you have seen it's super easy we dislike how many lines of code is that this is like five lines of code you can secure your user's password in your database rather than storing as plain text so be careful security is very important and php provides a lot of amazing tools to to help us with these security issues so use them i cannot stress this enough please hash your passwords before storing them in the database this is the end of this section now let's go to the next topic.